Auckland has a diverse and unique landscape where water plays a dominant role in our Kiwi lifestyle. We love water, yet in New Zealand we have the third highest drowning rate of the OECD. With knowledge, planning and care, everyone can enjoy safe aquatic participation. Recreational activity on and around the water is increasing as Auckland's population grows. Water Safe Auckland is dedicated to building a water safe culture through education. Oh, water Safe Auckland is the lead agency for the delivery of water safety education across our region. We make up one third of the population. We formed in 1994 with representation from education, aquatics, injury prevention, health and safety. I want to check that we're still on track to achieve what we because we are in Auckland and we have such a diverse population, we take a needs-based approach to this. We target at-risk groups such as Pacifica, new settler groups, and at-risk activities such as rock fishing, which is one of the most at-risk aquatic activities presently undertaken. looking to address the barriers for schools. Schools have got barriers as far as meeting the needs of the New Zealand curriculum, uh, which is around aquatic education, and we've currently got quite a, an innovative Pools to Schools, which is a portable pool initiative, provides pool space and addresses the issue of transport to the public pool, all of this at no cost to the school. Many Auckland schools can no longer afford to have swimming pools on site so children are less experienced around water. I guess for us, you know, the reason that we were very keen to have um, aquatics being taught in school is because we, we know that the statistics around drowning for children in New Zealand are on the increase. The boundaries for us in terms of aquatics education were enormous. It cost a lot of money. We were writing funding applications for um, funds to be able to offset the cost of that. Um, and when they and what was happening was they would probably spend more time getting ready here, getting on the bus, getting up there, and getting the bus back and getting back into their learning program as they did in the pool. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Good morning, Chris. 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 Some of the aquatics training took place outside of the pool and took place inside the classrooms and in the, the playgrounds. Put your hand up and tell me what we practiced last time. What about what we practiced in the pool when we were swimming last time? So um, it was really interesting to see that you know, you're able to do a number of things with students that involve life jackets, looking at buoyancy aids and you know, things that might keep you safe in the water. You don't actually need to have a pool with it every time. You can do these things outside of that. Aquatic education is a multifaceted approach to water safety. Now, swimming is a key element to that. By bringing a portable pool on site, then we can break down some of those barriers to aquatic education. Really well. Okay, now what we're going to do, all right, me and the seven. Okay. Obviously, being able to swim is a very important life skill, but there are a lot of other things we need to know about in terms of keeping ourselves safe around water. We need to know when we do and don't get into the water. We need to understand what a rip is. We need to understand weather conditions, tides, etc. Uh, we need to. Young kids need to know that they need to swim supervised. They need to know when it is safe and when it isn't safe for them to get into the water. A positive of this uh, program is not only do these students learn great water safety and swimming skills, is they just have such a great time along the way. I've been fishing for probably about 10 years. Sort of started fishing with my dad on his boat and stuff, but then um, decided to get into rock fishing. 
So started to, to fish the west coast. It was just a complete change of environment. Um, there was a situation with one of my mates. He um, used, to, used to come fishing with me all the time. We were really close. He'd come and meet up with me. I had a couple of life jackets in my place. Um, and one day he decided to go out on his own. But because he didn't have, I had the life jackets, he um, wasn't prepared. And um, that day he was taken by the sea. Rock fishing on the West Coast beaches is a recreational activity that exposes fishermen to the dangers of the ocean. Many fishermen don't know how to keep themselves safe in this environment. WaterSafe Auckland established the West Coast Rock Fishing Project in conjunction with the Auckland City Council and Surf Life Saving New Zealand. Multilingual information is located at the beaches. There are incentive schemes to encourage fishermen to purchase safety equipment and angel rings are now situated at at-risk locations. Basically after my mate died, um, it was a massive eye-opener for me. I really started res to respect the ocean and, and w w the power of the ocean. This project has resulted in the increase of fishermen wearing life jackets. Over five years, an increase of 4% to 31% has occurred. This has all been achieved without legislation. I feel that everything around, everything's been done and I'm completely prepared to the, to, a, to the maximum extent, you know, like you can never ever judge nature. Mother Nature has a powerful force and it will take you if it wants to, but with, with angel rings and um, the knowledge of, of being prepared with a mobile phone, the right clothing, you know, a buoyancy vest, a life jacket, I know that I'm going to be pretty okay. WaterSafe Auckland is committed to spreading the word about safety. We are looking to have uh, more initiatives in place in the early child in the Pacifica region, so increased funding will allow us to do that. And we focus on research, and this enables us to have evidence to drive the need for our policies and practices. In line with this, we have staff, we are innovative, and we can ensure that with additional funding, we can meet the needs of our region. Everyone needs to be aware of water safety. Aucklanders should be well educated and wise about aquatic environments. Together, the public and Water Safe Auckland can share a commitment to build a water safe culture. Take care of each other and the next generation and contribute in the prevention of drowning in New Zealand.